Nicolas Sarkozy was in a bellicose mood today here in Brussels. The French president literally lashed out at Viviane Redding, uh, the very commissioner uh, who two days ago threatened France with legal action over its handling of the deportation of Roma migrants and who drew a parallel between France's policies and the Second World War. Well, Nicolas Sarkozy said that these remarks were purely unacceptable, that there were humiliation, a wound for France. Meanwhile, though, Nicolas Sarkozy uh, sought to uh, to uh, play down the rumors, or I should say reports, that he had directly clashed with uh, Viviane Redding's boss, the head of the European Commission, of course, José Manuel Barroso. Uh, Nicolas Sarkozy that said that there hadn't been a clash. However, two uh, prominent uh, heads of government here, including uh, Jean-Claude Juncker from Luxembourg, said that there had been what they call a very heated exchange over the issue over lunch today here in Brussels. Christophe, what does it actually mean for relations between France and the European Union? Well, these relations are going through a deep crisis, obviously, uh, and this was evidenced by the fact that uh, Mr. Barroso, the head of the Commission, said during his press conference that uh, the uh, stigmatization of uh, people of a minority on an ethnic ground was unacceptable in the European Union. It was a, clearly, a clear sign, of course, that he was criticizing France. Now, when you look at the uh, institutional level, uh, both the European Parliament and the European Condition, uh, Commission have a strongly condemned condemned uh, France's policies. Now, at the level of the heads of state and government, things aren't as black and white, and there is, of course, an explanation for that. France is not the only country uh, which is currently expelling uh, Romas. It's notably also the case uh, in countries like Italy. But yes, difficult times for France and Brussels. I will finish by quoting uh, Mr. Van Rompuy, uh, Herman Van Rompuy, who is, as you know, uh, the permanent president of the European Council, a very diplomatic figure who today urged both Brussels and Paris to respect each other.